Welcome back to Sage and Stone Homestead. So I actually had a different video planned for today, but the bees had the bees had their own idea. And so I've got a pretty large swarm out of one of my colonies that I'm gonna try to catch. One of the reasons I have a little bit of doubt whether or not I can catch them is I am basically out of beekeeping equipment. Um, I honestly didn't expect all seven of our honeybee colonies to make it through the winter, but they did, and I don't have any more equipment. So this here is actually what I have to offer them. This is a pro nuke, it's only a five frame deep. And I'm going to try to entice them to take ownership of this space with some empty drawn comb that I have. All that's in here right now is just foundation. And while swarms are really primed to create comb, this kind of stuff really draws them in. I was actually in my greenhouse preparing to make a different video. I need to really move over some of my sweet potato slips into some starter pots. Um, I heard this roar of bees. <laughs> and there were a few bees in the greenhouse. And I know that I have a lot more colonies than I've ever had before, but this sound was different. I'm really excited. This is a big swarm. Look at them all. Holy crap. So what I'd really love for them to do is catch wind of the swarm lure that I have in this box. I have a spray swarm lure that's really just lemongrass oil and that mimics the queen's pheromones and hopefully they'll catch wind of it and they'll like it. They'll like that it's a nice dark space and they will move on in. But in order to increase the chances of the swarm moving into that box, I'm gonna go find one of my queen clips and see if I can detect one of the queens that's probably in this swarm. If I can find her and catch her, and if I can catch her and put her in the box, there's a much greater chance that they're gonna move in. This is a pretty large swarm. It's one of the largest swarms that I've seen. I have a feeling I know which colony it came out of. And so with a swarm of this size, there's probably multiple queens, but I am gonna try to find one of them. There are quite a few bees checking the box out and really the way to get a swarm to stay or the best way to get a swarm to stay with you is when they choose to move in. I could, and I may eventually do this, but I could place the box kind of close to the swarm and coax them to move in by basically not giving them any other option but to kind of drop down into the box. But if they can choose to make their way into that box, they're a lot more likely to stay around. Quite a few of them, checking them out, seeing what they think. I'm noticing some bees further down here in the shade that are doing a little bit of a waggle dance. And what they're doing is communicating with the rest of the bees nearby. And at this point, when they're in this kind of a situation, what they're doing is communicating the location of a potential home.
one's flapping its wings. Yeah, they do. They flap their wings to let the other bees know where the rest of them are. Okay. making their way up and I think they are going in the side of the box I just was if I could see her on the front I was gonna try to catch her but I don't see any queen really, really big eyes. they're really big eyes yes that's a drone yeah their eyes touch yeah yes What are you talking about? In and out of here? Yeah. In and out. No. I think it's just lost bees. They'll make their way back to the colony. So it's been a little bit over an hour since we caught the swarm and it looks like at least for the evening we have caught them. Um, I hope that they hang out in that box for another day or so until I can get them moved into the empty hive body that I have at the end of this row here. If not, if they do decide to abscond, I feel like that is where they would move in anyways. But I do wanna to try to set them up well because I do have one last piece of equipment. Now I think they actually came out of this colony here. This one has a lot of activity outside the front. But I'm not entirely sure, so. I do have a goat that is two days overdue. She was due on the 31st and today is the second. So we really need to go ahead and check on her. There are a couple bees that seem a little bit lost and confused. So I've stuck this other little nuke box here to at least give them a place to rest overnight. Any kind of lost bee will go back to their home colony, wherever they swarmed out of. Hi, ma'am. Come here. No. It's not a party for everyone. I'm sorry. You feeling all right? She might actually deliver tonight. Her udder is definitely filling up with milk. Yay, Christine! All right. It's a little muddy. Oh, but it's looking good. Still got ligament, still feel ligaments. But she's absolutely feeling this udder up. That's for sure. Starting to sink in up here. Christine's due date was a severe weather day here on the farm and it looks like in about two and a half days we're having another severe weather, weather day here and so I hope this time that she actually delivers before then and I think she will. She's definitely putting some milk in that udder and usually 
usually that's a pretty good sign that things are definitely moving forward. We love you.